Hi there! Um, I really wanted to create a new video just to share some exciting ways that you can use some of our really precious, beautiful, high grade essential oils. So if you've been following my page for a little while, you would know that I am obsessed with doTERRA's essential oils. They are pure, they are potent, they are from straight from the plant to the bottle, they are just incredibly amazing and jam packed full of benefits and medicinal and therapeutic components that I honestly cannot see my life without these and this is just a little collection. Um, I really wanted to share a video of about 10 different oils, you know, 10 or 12 of the most popular oils and how you can use them and how I use them and my experiences with the essential oils. Um, where do I begin really? Um, you know what, I'm going to start with lavender because a lot of people have experienced lavender. They either love it or they have this very strong dislike towards it because they think of old musky smell. Um, I used to think that until I smelled doTERRA's essential oil, doTERRA lavender essential oil specifically. Um, a lot of people who, when I do my classes and, you know, I pass the lavender around for them to smell it, they'll, they'll grab the bottle and they'll think, oh, I'm not going to like them. And I said, that's fine. But at least tell me you can smell a difference. And they'll smell it. They'll take a beautiful whiff of it. And then they'll think, okay, that's not lavender that I know. And, you know, that's exactly right. A lot of the lavender that I had used to, like I had experienced before doTERRA's lavender essential oil was full of some other sort of synthetic filler, some, you know, that wasn't straight lavender. And you can definitely smell, you know, there's this beautiful lavender aroma to these, whereas anything else that I've ever smelled had this lingering after smell that was really, really unpleasant. But anyway, what about lavender? Lavender is known for being um, really calming, really soothing, really relaxing. So it's a really great oil to have to diffuse towards the end of the day when you're trying to wind down and, you know, put the day to an end pretty much. So this is really nice to get a little spray bottle and spritz over your bed before you get hop into it to nice and freshen the sheets with that lavender aroma. I even put a couple drops in my rinse cycle of my washing machine when I'm washing my bed sheets. So when I'm do making my, when I am making my bed, um, even just flicking the sheets up and, you know, before you put the sheets around the mattress, you can just get that beautiful whiff of um, lavender. It is so nice. It is so calming. Um, so I definitely put a couple of drops at the end of my rinse cycle. Um, I even do it with my bath towels. Just picture yourself hopping out of the shower, grabbing a nice, clean towel with that beautiful, calming aroma of lavender in there and then hopping into your bed. That's just, just a wonderful feeling. Um, lavender is great for um, headaches, so if you do experience headaches, I find I get some relief when I apply a little bit to my temples or to the back of my neck, that really, really is helpful. Um, it's great for skin rashes, it's great for allergies, it's great for bites and stings and all that sort of thing. It's a really calming oil, so it's even perfectly safe for little ones. Um, it's one of the few oils that are perfectly fine for the little babies that you can use. Obviously, you still need to dilute accordingly, but, you know, it's great for nappy rash. It's great for um, teething, so you can apply a little bit on their jawline and they'll um, get a bit of relief that way as well. You know, I've shared quite a few DIY recipes of how to make your own baby wipes, how to make your own nappy cream, so your diaper cream. So it's really great and nourishing for the skin. Um, you can even incorporate doTERRA's unscented hand and body lotion with this, or with any of our oils really, but this would be nice and beautiful and nourishing for your skin. So that's lavender. Oh wait, I make a lot of DIY products. So I'm really huge on making like bath bombs, bath salts, um, anything like that that's nice, convenient gift ideas for people. But you know, they're also nice and cost effective. Everyday ingredients that you've probably got in your pantry, you know, in your kitchen. Add a couple of drops of lavender essential oil. If you want to take it that one step further, I add a couple just a little sprinkle of dried lavender buds and it just makes such an incredible gift and nice and pure and natural. So now that's lavender. Um, I want to share with you tea tree. So whenever I 
share tea tree in my workshops and I, I always tell people this is something that we should be proud of because we actually provide the tea tree for doTERRA. So what they do is they go around the world and they test the environments, the soils, the temperatures, where the plants thrive the most and where they're indigenous is where they're gonna get their best quality of essential oil from. So we are so lucky to be able to provide tea tree. We are known for tea tree. We're known for tea tree and eucalyptus. Um, tea tree is such a versatile oil. Every time I smell tea tree, I think of cleaning. I do use it a lot for cleaning. Um, I'll add a couple drops sometimes to my mop bucket when I'm mopping the floors. If I'm making um, my dishwashing liquid, I'll add a couple of drops of that because it's a very strong natural antiseptic oil. Really, really incredible. Um, it's great for problematic skin. So if you have someone that breaks out quite often, you know, you can just even do a spot um, treatment of tea tree onto your, onto your problem areas. It's also really useful for cold sores and mouth ulcers. So this was something that I gave to my dad when he had, um, he was going through treatment last year and he had a whole lot of um, mouth ulcers and cold sores, you know, during that time. And I gave him a little bottle of it. I gave him, you know, a handful of earbuds and I said, you know, apply this to your sore areas. This is going to help. It's going to, it's very um, skin regenerative. So it's going to help with the healing process of that as well. Definitely a go-to for that. That's tea tree. We have peppermint. And I smell the peppermint. And it's just so uplifting. It's so refreshing. It's so invigorating. But what I do love to do with my peppermint, straight up, is making this incredible chocolate brownie recipe that's on the doTERRA blog website. So it's a black bean brownie. And I'll add a couple drops of the peppermint. And it is so nice. Like anyone that loves the chocolate mint combination, they're going to love making that brownie with a couple drops of our peppermint oil. You know, don't even think that buying a bottle of peppermint essence from the supermarket is going to give you the same job. It's absolutely not. This is just incredible. And a little bit does go a long way. Um, another great way thing to use for your peppermint is it's another great oil for headaches. So you can, again, apply it to the temples or apply it to the back of your neck and you'll get some really calming and cooling reliefs that way with your um, your headache. Um, it's very cooling in summer, so you can also get a little spray bottle, get a, top it up with water and add a few drops of peppermint and then just literally spray yourself down. It's going to be so cooling from that menthol. It is amazing. Um... Another fun fact about peppermint, and this was probably my most fascinating thing that I learned about peppermint when I was first introduced to the oils, is that spiders don't like it. And as soon as I heard that, I was like, yep, I know what I'm doing. I hate spiders. I'm terrified of spiders. I don't care how big they are, how small they are. I do not like them. So when we moved into this house, I was like, yep, grab a spray bottle of water and grab some of my peppermint essential oil. And I was spraying the perimeters of the um, the windows and the doors inside and out. I probably went a little overboard, but hey, peppermint's such a beautiful oil, such invigorating oil. So if it's giving the house a nice pleasant smell and the spiders are pissing away, like, that's fine. Um, uh, it is such a great oil for that. And it's also really great for um, opening up your airways too. So another quick way to you know use the essential oil is put a drop in your palm. Go like that. And take a deep breath. It is so invigorating. I love it. I love them all. Um, another oil I want to share with you is lemon. So really nice and fresh. Oh, I'm a sucker for anything citrus. So you need to smell this and I wish you could. It is so nice. It is so fresh. It's just so... Just think of the best smelling lemon like a, a tree full of lemon trees like the, a lemon um yeah lemon fruit sorry it is just so amazing i make a lot of cakes and cookies and all that sort of thing so i definitely do like to experiment with my recipes and adding essential oils into them 
a little bit goes a long way, but this is such a nice oil to add to your tea, to your smoothies, to your water. It's actually better for you to have a drop of lemon oil in your water than it is to put lemon slices into your lemon water, into your bottle. Um, because the lemon oil is sourced from the rind, not from the acidic part of the fruit, it's actually a lot safer for you for your teeth as opposed to the acidic lemon slices. Um, so definitely a much healthier option. It is also great for detoxing, as we already know about lemons. It's really nice and cleansing. Um, another great oil for cleaning. Again, I make a lot of my cleaning products, and I use a little bit of lemon oil in there as well. It's so nice. Um, another oil I want to share with you is oregano. So oregano, nice and herbaceous and zesty. It is such... A powerhouse oil this one here it is a natural strong antibiotic I do encourage you to hop on YouTube and to look up a video and it's just simply titled oregano versus amoxicillin amoxicillin so amoxicillin is antibiotics as we know and a high school student in America did this science experiment and all he did was get a drop of oregano essential oil and tested it with, you know, um, a controlled source with bacteria. And one drop of oregano killed more bacteria than the amoxicillin did. Well, but then he took it one step further. And he did a quarter drop of oregano. And it still killed more bacteria than what the amoxicillin did. That's just incredible. It is such a great oil. And every time we... Do feel like um, every time we do feel like we're coming down with something, we will go straight to the oregano. Um, I will either put it in a veggie capsule and I'll take it internally, and we call it like a little flu bomb, or I will put it in like um, like a soup. That's such a great way that I love to have it in, you know, in soup. But even when I'm cooking, just normal meals, and I'm marinating chicken or marinating some sort of meat, I'll get the olive oil in a little bowl, and I'll add my essential oils to it. So I'll add a drop of oregano, and you'll find that sometimes a drop is plenty. Sometimes even, depending what I'm making, I'll get a toothpick and add it to the orifice there, and then pop it into my recipe, and that is still ample. It really depends what you're going for, but always start with a little bit and work your way out. So that's oregano. Uh, the next oil I want to share with you is frankincense. Frankie boy. <laughs> so a lot of people either love or hate Frank. I was not a fan of frankincense when I was first introduced to it, but over the time of me using my essential oils in my collection um, and learning other ways that I could use frankincense, I've really become a fan. Like I love it. He's very nourishing for the skin. He's incredibly nourishing for the skin. Great oil, again, to use with the unscented body and hand lotion that doTERRA has, or just use it with your everyday moisturizer. A lot of great skincare products will have frankincense in there because it's so good for your skin. Just incredible for anything for your skin, really. Um, it's really uplifting. It's really um, supportive of people's low moods. Really, really uplifting that way. And um, it's really great for immunity support. So... Dr. Hill, who is doTERRA, one of doTERRA's founders, and he's also um, the chief medical officer for doTERRA, he's an actual doctor, guys, and he is all into using natural solutions and incorporating that into his business, in his um, practice. And he suggests every single day, make this a morning ritual, is to get a drop of pet frankincense, put it on, the, put it on your thumb and put it on the roof palette of your mouth. Quick and easy. Every day. Make that a habit and you are helping your immunity system so much. Just from that. Two steps. Like two second step, really. Definitely get onto that. Also, it is such a boosting oil. So if you're making a blend of a few different oils that, you know, to not, you know, mellow you out, calm you down, um, help with support, you know, a lot of your feelings. If you add a drop of frankincense, it actually acts like a booster. So definitely go for this. We have a saying that if you were just unsure of what oil to go for, grab your Frank. So when in doubt, get your Frank here. <laughs> it sounds corny, but we've been saying this, you know, for a few years now, and it's so true. Frankincense is amazing. 
he is it's such a treasured oil that back in the Egyptian times they used to steal the frankincense and leave the gold. Isn't that crazy? To think that they would steal anything other than gold and just leave that there behind. So it is super precious. The next oil I want to share with you now is a blend. So I've got a couple of blends that I'd love to share. So we've got Easy Air. Easy Air is so... I think of a certain product when I smell Easy Air. And it works... You would use it the same way, pretty much. So it's really great for your respiratory system. Helps open up your airways, help open up your nasal passages, and really help with congestion and you know sinus area. It's really great for that. I actually diffuse this one every single night, every single night without fail. No matter what other oil I'm diffusing, I'll always add easier because it does open up the airways. It does, and by help opening up the airways, particularly at night, you're actually promoting better sleep that way. So. From the first day that we've had our essential oils in our home and diffusing them in our bedroom, we have been diffusing easier. If you feel like you're getting congested, apply a little bit with coconut oil over your chest and a little bit on your back. Um, you can apply a little bit under your feet. And if you're feeling really congested up here, even a little bit underneath your nose, I find that's really nice and um it, 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 nice and cooling for the area, but it also helps to open up the airways and you'll feel that you're breathing much easier soon after it. So definitely easier is great. Another one I want to share with you is Digestin. I laugh every time I go to talk about Digestin because I can't help but mention my husband. So I have to be honest, I'm not a fan of the smell of Digestin because I smell licorice and I do not like licorice, but he likes it he actually loves it when i first brought the oils home he was a bit like what are you doing i don't understand what are these good for how are we going to use them what are you spending our money on pretty much but he had a really long lasting issue with his stomach and his gut like he had this issue for years before he even met me um if he ate too much if he ate certain foods if he ate heavy foods even if he ate if he ate late at night so sometimes if you know the day whatever happens during the day and you're eating late quite dinner quite late it would sit on him and it would sit on him for a good couple of days and he was easily irritated and he literally sit there for days and he'd had this discomfort so when i did have the oils and i said you're gonna try this just try it see how it goes see if it works and all he did was apply a couple drops over his abdomen and he you know rubbed it in nicely clockwise and he felt relief i'm not even joking he felt relief and after he experienced digestion, he said, buy whatever you want. The oils obviously work. He was sold. Honestly, he was sold from just digestion. He loves it so much that if he doesn't choose to apply it topically, he'll also add a drop in his water and take it internally like that. He loves the taste. Um, he's recently come to the conclusion that if he wants quick relief, he will put it a couple drops in a vegetable capsule. And he'll take it internally that way and he feels that it targets the area quicker and he gets that relief that he really needs fast. But he doesn't even use it anywhere near as much that he used to in the early days because digestion just takes care of it. It honestly has taken care of whatever stomach issue he has and it's now certain things that um, bothers him but he goes to digestion. He loves this. So it's solved. <laughs> the next product I want to um, share with you is Ice Blue. Ice Blue is known as our soothing blend and it is so soothing. It is great for, oh, I love the smell of Ice Blue. So it is great for muscle pain, joint pain, growing pain. It's great for, um, particularly for me, for my back pain. I've had this um, back injury that I've had for well, quite a few years now and Instead of taking so many prescription medications that I needed to take care of my back my my back pain, I went straight to ice blue. So once I did bring the oils home and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna maximize my kit, I'm gonna maximize my collection. So I learned all these other ways that I could use the essential oils. And when I learned that ice blue could help my back, I was determined to try it and give it a go. And this is the only thing that I 
no will help me with my pain. Um, it also comes in a cream version, which is just incredible because, you know, it absorbs nicely into the skin as well. But it's the same blend, Ice Blue, that comes in a cream version. And it is so great. Um, it's great for arthritis as well. If you need some um, relief from your arthritic pain, um, it's great for somebody that's really active and goes to the gym or if they're playing a sport. So you can actually apply um, ice blue before your exercise or before your activity. And it's actually going to increase your output, which is pretty exciting Like to think that that's how much an oil can help you. And then if you reapply and reuse the oil afterwards, it'll actually help with the recovery time. So it's definitely something that I recommend for um, soccer players, basketball players, you know, all that sort of thing. Or people are just quite active in the gym. Definitely go for the ice blue. The last oil I want to share with you is my most used oil by far. It is On Guard. So On Guard is another blend and it is known as our protective blend and it is great for anything cleaning, pretty much. Cleaning and immunity straight up. They're the two things that I associate with On Guard. Um, the oils in there are great for... Well, you'll associate them with cleaning anyway. So there's clove in there, wild orange, cinnamon, eucalyptus, rosemary, and clove. So they're really great for cleaning. Um, Just as a quick, easy spray and wipe, you can grab yourself a spray bottle, top it up with water, or even do half water, half vinegar, and add a few drops of the On Guard. And you've got yourself a multi-purpose spray that is antibacterial, antiviral, and antifungal. Quick and easy, but it's great. Um... We have a whole range of products that are made around the On Guard range. So we've got a laundry detergent, we've got a hand wash, we've got toothpaste, which I love, and that's definitely a staple in our home. But it is incredible. So this is another one that's great for immunity. So you could also incorporate this with the frankincense and use it as an immune boosting oil every single morning. Um, I make my cleaning products, as I mentioned earlier, but I add a couple of drops into not only my multi-purpose spray, but into my my mop bucket, um, into my hand wash soap that I make myself. Um, so it's a really great, incredible oil. So they're the top 10 oils that I really want to share with you. And I was trying to keep it short, but I'm not too sure how I've gone for time. But they're the top 10 oils that I really wanted to share with you. Um, you know, and that's just a snapshot. What I've shared with you, honestly, there are so many more ways you can use these oils. But I've only just told you a few ways on just 10 different oils. There are a couple of oils that are really incredible, which I will talk about um, in a moment, but those 10 oils in that full-size bottle, which is 15 ml, which I should tell you is about 250 drops. So 250 drops in a 15 ml bottle. Um, the Ice Blue and a few others only come in 5 ml. So that's about 75, 80 drops like that. So if you're only using one or two drops at a time, You've essentially got 250 serves. So that's it works out to be like cents per drop. Um, you know, for example, lemon is one of our most affordable oils at $13, and it works out to be like four or five cents a drop. And remember, our products are pure. They're considered better than organic because they've gone through such thorough testing as well that I I challenge you, how many lemons are you gonna buy for $13? Organic lemons for $13 before you use them before they go moldy or before they go off or you know do you actually need that many lemons whereas you can have a bottle of this sitting in your kitchen or sitting in your you know little oil pouch like mine and it'll last you a while and you'll only be using one or two drops at a time and that's going to last you quite a while um so the top 10 oils that i've gone through with you today pretty colors and uh, they do come in two different kits. So they do come in a kit in these full-size bottles, which is the 15 ml bottles, and that's known as the Home Essentials Kit. And the Home Essentials Kit, you'll get those 10 oils plus our petal diffuser. So I do love our petal diffuser because it... It does have three different timer settings. And it has an optional night light. So if you don't like the night, you can turn it off. Quick and easy. It does have three timer settings. So it's got one hour, two hour, and four hours. And the water will, um, if the water finishes before the timer, it'll switch itself off. Or if the timer hits first, it'll switch itself off. It is a cool mist diffuser. 
So it's not burning away all that goodness from the essential oils. It's not burning away the medicinal and therapeutic components that our essential oils are known for having. Um, so if one of the children or you or anyone accidentally knocks it over, they're not going to burn themselves. It is completely cooler. cool. So I would definitely suggest you have a cool mist diffuser if you don't already have one and experience the oils in an aromatic way. Such a great, easy way to experience the essential oils. Um, so that would be the home essentials kit. Or um, if you really just want to dabble into the essential oils, you can also get them all in a 5ml bottle version and the same 10 oils but without the diffuser and that's known as the essential collection kit. So there's a couple ways that you can grab yourself some oils. Um, but I don't want to go into that, too much detail with that. Um, I can send you some information if you like, if you want to learn about different ways to get the oils. But as the name suggests... The Essential Collections and the Home Essentials Kit, these are the top 10 oils that every home must have. Must have. You know, you've got you've got so many different things covered. You've got your sleeping, you've got cooking, you've got um, relaxation, you've got digestion, you've got um, cleaning, immunity support. Like the list goes on just from 10 beautiful oils. There is one more product I do want to share because I feel like I'm not doing you a service by telling you this one product that every woman without fail should have in their home, in their handbag, in their bathroom, anywhere. So it is Clary Calm. Clary Calm is known as our monthly blend for women. And some of the beautiful oils in this blend include Clary Sage, Lavender, Bergamot, Roman chamomile, ylang ylang, cedarwood, um, geranium, fennel, carrot seed, palmarosa, and vitex. So this beautiful blend of oils, known as the monthly blend for women, can you tell where I'm getting at? It is incredible for supporting you in every aspect of your womanhood. It is great for period pain. It is great for back pain. It is great for um, mood support, hormone support. It's great for hot flashes. It's great for menopause. So really, this is great for little girls starting through puberty to older women going you know, through menopause and beyond. So this is definitely by far a woman's best friend. If you do not have Clary Calm or if you've not experienced Clary Calm, your life will probably change once you do. So this is definitely something that I would um, encourage you to explore as well once you start to dabble in with your collection of oils. Definitely get the Clary Calm. You will not regret it at all. Um, but pretty much that's where I wanted to share. The top 10 oils plus the beautiful Clary Calm. A little information about the petal diffuser. So if you want to know how you can get your own essential oils, send me a message. I'll send you some information. Um... I'm also available to come and do in-home workshops if you like. They're free workshops. So they're free educational workshops. What I've just shared with you here now, I can bring my oil goodies and we can um, share it with a couple of friends in your place. Open up your home and bring some friends over. I'll bring my oils. I'll bring my diffuser. And they're just going to learn so much about these precious oils. There are dates, of, we're pretty flexible with dates, so definitely reach out um, to book your own in-home workshop. If you are local to me, I'm from Melbourne, um, specifically Mill Park area, in the northern suburbs of Melbourne. I do host regular workshops in my salon, so definitely reach out if you want to come and hear more about the oils, have your own workshop, or come and listen to one of mine when I've already got one scheduled. If you have any questions, please reach out. If you also want to be added to my monthly email listing, send me a message and I'll add you to that as well. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.